Bing, and we are live. Good morning, everybody. Good it morning. is. Good morning, Rosie <clears throat> Jan. Good morning, Rosie Jan. It is Saturday, January 27, 2017, here with the one and only, the incomparable, the indubitable, the amazing. Missy Jen and Missy Jen and good morning to anybody that joins this morning. Missy Jen, we raised a little bit of money for MS last night. So if you were one of the people that contributed, come <clears> back <throat> and put it in the description box. It's hard. The description so not the description box, but the comment box doesn't show up during a uh, a live hangout. So you have to come back the next day. But I'll tell you, one of the greatest things on YouTube. Missy Jen is the discovery that you can Good actually. Morning, Nick. Hi, Nick. How you doing, sweetie pie? That you can actually do something positive if you go mind to between St. Jude's mm -hmm. Hospitals, the Wounded Warrior Project, Ronald McDonald House, Multiple Sclerosis Society. Oh, near and dear to uh, near and dear to both <clears throat> of our hearts, Missy Jen and myself. I'm Don Juan. Hi, nice Don. to see you, my friend. So if you've not contributed to MS, five, ten dollars, you can go to you can just Google MS Society. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Or you can use the link that's in the box below. That goes actually to New England, the um, MS Society, which most of the research is taking place uh, up there. But you can you have other choices of They're where not only I found that in the go ahead. because I already had some dealings with the National MS Society <clears throat> when I actually initially was diagnosed with MS uh, about six years ago. Uh, they will not only uh, invest money into research, but they also have support systems for people with MS that they have financial needs. So you can actually apply for a one-time financial assistance if you have a bill that needs paid, like a medical bill or something. You can apply and they will pay a percentage, a, a big percentage of that bill, depending on your income. They might even pay the whole bill, depending on the amount. Awesome. So they will actually help people with MS financially also. So there are many things that they do in the background, <clears throat> uh, a lot of things that they do for people with MS. They also financially <clears throat> uh, support uh, the uh, uh, MS groups. Um, they sponsor gatherings. They finance meetings and everything. Speakers. Yeah, and everything, so they finance a lot of stuff. That, uh, Good morning, uh, was, um, morning, Don Juan, the great <laughs> Lebowski in the chat. Nova Gina, Kelly, morning, how are you, Lebowski. honey? Nice to see you. And uh, Nova Gina. <laughs> and our beautiful friend, uh, Nick Mann here, who is you know, wonderful. It's amazing the people <clears throat> that uh, stick by over time because they, they kind of see the light on things. But the one thing I like uh, that you I like about the MS Society and MS is the research moves forward. Unlike other some other diseases that have unknown causes, symptomology that's hard for people to nail down, uh, fibromyalgia being one, there's really no discernible diagnosis for that, overall body pain, things like that. MS is something with a very observable phenomenon, and that is in Missy Jen's spinal column, you'll have what's called... Uh, what do you call it? Lesions that appear. Lesions, yes. And those lesions are actually nerves under attack within the spinal column, also in your brain. In my yeah. brain, yes. Yeah. White matter, <clears throat> white matter changes, <clears throat> lesions. Yeah. The brain shrinkage is a lot faster than in a <clears throat> regular healthy brain. <clears throat> but you can actually yeah. see on an MRI, you can see the zones where there is nerves under the Good morning, Carl. Hey, Carl. Good, good morning, morning to you. Nice to see you. You can actually <clears throat> observe that stuff. It's not It's not open to question what it is, even though MS is a face with a, a disease with a thousand different faces. 
it's very observable when you look at uh, Missy Jen's MRIs and things that uh, she's constantly under attack. Uh, her nerves, actually, what comes in is the body's immune system. Hi, Susie. Hi, Susie. Hi, Tess. Nice to see you, baby doll. And, Hi, Tess. Uh, can't wait to check out. Hey, Felix. Nice to see you. AC. Hi, sweetie. Uh, under attack. The body's attacking itself and it's pulling uh, the uh, myelin sheath. Thank covers. you, Dom. It's uh, calling, actually attacking the myelin sheath and pulling the covering off of the uh, nerve. So you can imagine uh, when you pick, prick yourself with a needle or uh, it's just your whole life is, is that sort of uh, pain comes and goes different areas. You lose Missy Jen's legs will go out for an hour or so or her hands. She can't feel her hands and things like that. But she, she deals with that. I mean, she's she's small. Yeah, I, nice to see AC. She's strong as fuck. I mean, if you'll pardon me uh, saying Love that. Love you too, sis. So she deals with that a lot, and then obviously it affects her speech. Some people go, oh, you know, kind of, why does Missy Jen look like she just swallowed a bottle of OxyContin and all that? Just people don't do realize because Missy Jen doesn't come on and cry about it her illness like others do and uh, whine about it every time that she's on a hangout. Now, people assume that she does not have things going on. So I was very happy last night, Jen, to raise money for multiple sclerosis and continue research because therapies are moving forward and things are being done. Missy Jen had an infusion, O'Crevis infusion therapy. My little, little help to slow down the uh, progression of the disease. Yeah. Over a two-year... <laughs> Two-year period in the trials, it slowed down the progression by up to 21%. Yeah, that's important because so, when you slow things down, uh, it buys your time. It buys you time, and of course, research mm. moves forward, and uh, that's the wonderful thing about that. But Missy Jen has still has a tremendous amount of mobility. It comes and goes. <clears throat> I have to always be. Hair. She has to watch her balance and stuff like that walking around. She's prone to occasionally falling on the uh, ground and things like that. Uh, sitting outside and five turkey vultures just flew by, but they kept going. Still creepy though, yeah. Uh, Tess said, Jen, have you seen a stabilization? Your last one was in November, so we've been kind of, your next one will be in May, I believe. So yeah. It's maybe uh, the problems in my hands actually is now actually uh, Thank my you, arms Carl. is actually gone further now. It's now at night actually it goes past my elbows now. So it's it seems like it's actually getting worse in my arms now. Yeah, this is uh, this is where I derive my strength to um, fight the, to fight the fights that I fight because I see what Missy John does in real life. So things that happen online. And I'll be doing a separate video to address some other threats that came in last night uh, to us. Um, but the reality is, in the face of what Missy Jan endures, my stuff doesn't amount to, a, as they say in Casablanca, a hill of beans. And that's the reality of uh, things. Anyway, we did make a pizza last night. Yes. We made it from Let's scratch. We started, we yeah. started Thursday. I started Thursday afternoon by pre-making the dough. Now, I have one of YouTube's premier cooks in here, Tess Cooks for You, one of the premier uh, people I follow on YouTube that does amazing cooking videos. She's out of PA, that area there. Uh, very high quality, very high production values, and she does a beautiful job. And uh, she will tell you and bear you out, if you want dough and you want bread to taste good, you've got to really start your dough a day or two ahead of time to allow it to get seasoned to allow it to pick up wild yeast from the air and enhance the flavors uh, on it. So you start the day before and I have my description. In the description box, I have the recipe I use to make the uh, pizza dough. One of my secret weapons is to use rice wine vinegar, Asian rice wine vinegar. Not only in my pizza dough, but also because uh, it also adds tremendous flavor to the sauce, the uh, sauce that you're using. The Japanese call it umami, that, that, that sense, that flavor that's, that's between salt 
and savory. They call it umami in Japan. And if Nicole, my friend from the UK, was here, she would also tell you that umami is an Asian food. There's something savory about it, but a light savoriness. And adding a tablespoon of the rice wine vinegar really enhances the what I call the bite of the pizza. There's nothing. Missy Jen, when we go to casinos and we go to buffets, I don't even pick up the pizza. I don't even touch it. You know what? Because it's processed cardboard, it's going to be ragu, tomato sauce on top of it, some mozzarella cheese, and throw a few, uh, throw a few pepperonis. I know you enjoy it, son. It's not my thing. Oh, yeah. You know, it's fine. It fills you up. It's good. I like to sample it. Yeah, I like to sample one it. One small slice. But for me, it has no. Drink. For me, it has no forward teeth to it. You know, it has nothing that endears you to it. When you look at a pizza like we made last night, and you look at the way that we built the sauce live on cam, you'll see that our pizza, you'll see a couple things That's about this. Great. It's it's on the dry side, meaning that it's not a bed of, or a sea of oil on there. Okay, and this is very important. Real high quality, authentic Italian pieces. Pizzas are not dripping with oil floating up through the surface of cheese and with pepperonis. They're very well, uh, yeah, quality over quantity. So, yeah, the making of the sauce, I think. Hi, uh, is that Lois? Hi, Lois. Nice to see you. So, that's the first thing. And to accomplish that, you cannot have a wet sauce. You cannot take Spaghetti sauce, you can, but you're going to have a pizza that the toppings slide off and all of that. If you look at this pizza here, ain't nothing coming off. You can see the beautiful char on the back of it. We're going to talk about that. I've made pizzas on YouTube for years. There's many in various playlists uh, that you can uh, see on there. Uh, yeah, well, you know, Happy Meal says if that pizza was any good, it'd be gone by now. The problem was we went to Five Guys Restaurant. Five Guys Hamburgers last night, Happy Meal. Ooh, and uh, we great. filled up on a gigantic Ooh. hamburger and fries. There was, I'm luckily, luckily I got, I got a couple pieces down. And I was night. asleep. So. And that was 12 o'clock when she's, hi Coop, nice hi, to Coop. see you. That was almost midnight when I was finished. Missy Jen was long asleep, so. Yeah, um, I was long asleep. I went to bed at, was it 9.30? Yeah. So to make that sauce, we really started with tomato paste out of the can, added some rice wine vinegar, added some Italian seasoning to that, added a little bit of extra basil, add a little bit of sugar, add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. We, we uh, started with some garlic and uh, onion. We chopped up and sweated that in the uh, pot here. And then we built on top of that. We added our tomato paste. We added about uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. So we had a uh, we had a sauce that was actually going to be brushed, almost brushed on. We just used a spatula instead of a ladle to put that on. Therefore, when we went to cook and make the pizza and put the mozzarella and the uh, pepperonis and onion on top. It came out of the oven really nicely, and there wasn't any goo, there wasn't any drip or anything like that. So let's talk about the crust a minute, too, because this is where most people fail when they're making home pizzas. And I'll give you a side view of a slice here. And because we started the pizza the day before, you can see the nice pockets in here. There's nothing flat about this dough. It's a standard pizza dough. But it has a lot of pockets showing that we had a very lively dough going into the oven at about 500 degrees. And you can see the bottom of it. It's cooked properly. It's not raw. The worst thing that you can do, oh, yeah, the worst thing that you can do when you're making a pizza at home is to put it on a metal tray like this and just put it in the middle of your oven. Now, the reason that's going to fail is the top part is going to cook, and it's going to get done before the bottom crust even begins to acquire that really nice char on it. And char is flavor. Color is flavor on there. So when I cooked a pizza, 
I arrange the racks in the oven so that I sit this pan on the floor of the oven directly over the heat source. When I do that, the heat is instantly transferred into the bottom of the pan and it goes up to the bottom of the pizza and it puts a beautiful bottom on that, similar to what you would get in a blodget oven that's used in commercial operations to make pizza. Yeah, you got to monitor it closely, but guess what? The bottom will be done before the top. After about eight minutes on the bottom of the oven, I put it up to an upper rack and I finish off for about that 15 minute. Yeah, the metal acts exactly as the heat sink. Hi, Bean Sprout. Nice to see you, baby doll. Hi, Bean. <laughs> and as a result, you get a beautiful, absolutely beautiful char on the bottom of the pizza. Not burned but char and flavor. Yes, you must, Kelly. You must come visit us up here at the uh, at the Rancho. So you get a beautifully well-done pizza that has balance, and then you can observe it when you put it on the upper rack. You can watch that uh, being done. By, setting, by starting the dough the day before, you get a lot more stretch and flexibility to it. And also... You get a very enhanced flavor. The dough is very important for pizza. Now, I don't even have a really good high gluten pizza flour, which they sell in a really good Italian flour. So, uh, let's see. Tess says, I have a large cast uh, iron pizza pan and not sure if I'm happy with it. Might go back to the get. Get a metal pan and stick it on the bottom of the oven for eight minutes and you'll you'll be gold. Hi, Diane. Tess, I also do that when I'm, when I'm blind baking my pie shells. I think this uh, this week coming up, we'll be making a chocolate cream pie, uh, which will call which will call for creating or blind baking the shell, pre making the, the pie shell, which I've done many times, and then directly sitting that on the oven floor for about ten minutes, so that that heat goes through the Pyrex and makes you've never had a bad crust here. You know they're always flaky and they're always they're always uh, they're always good. So nice to see you, Diane, and everybody. We got Kelly in here, and it was a really fun hangout last night. I think we had almost eighty people. On. I think a month ago we had 20, 25 people would be on and then uh, 40, 50 people. Now we have 70, 80 people stopping by and it's fun. You know, there's nothing uh, going on. Uh, and I'll talk about that. I do have uh, Greg modding. I'll be talking on a video today about some changes that are uh, that have come up. Just protect everybody who comes into the chat. I don't want to block anybody. I don't want to ban anybody. But I need to protect things that are put on the side chat. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Nice to see you. Now, um, I had a couple pieces last night. It was fabulous. It was late at night. By that time, I was kind of uh, hungry, and uh, you know, everybody wanted me to sample it on YouTube. And of course, I didn't mind doing that. So I'm going to take a piece now. I'm going to take a plate for Jen. Yeah, Jen I'm likes right it. Now. Yeah, I brought it. Jen, you like it warmed up. You don't like I it. I like it warmed yeah. up. So, it's not going to be as flavorful when it's warmed up. Reheating pizza a second time tends to denude the flavor of it. The most intense flavor is when you have it cold the next day, but I think Missy Jan will still enjoy it very much. Let me give you a nice big piece over here. Okay, and I'm going to blow this in here for a bit. Paul sat in. We'll put that in for an initial 30 seconds or so. And I'm just going to take my piece cold right here. I don't want to use How are you doing, Brenda? I'm still kind of full from last night. So I'm going to have just a, my piece. I just want cold. I don't care. Okay, bye, Lois. Have a good day. I'm going to go play winter volleyball. Too many dark clouds. Cool as clothes. Yeah, bean sprout. I'm gonna be uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be seriously looking at buying a park model down in uh, down in Florida. Let's see how that. Uh, let's give that. Uh, let's give that a little bit more. Let's give that another thirty seconds. I'm I'm always feeling good. I am lucky. I really don't have any medical issues at all. I've always kept my weight down. I don't have my blood pressure tends to be on the low side. I don't have any cholesterol. I don't have any blood sugar 
issues. Yeah, I think that would be a lot of fun um, being because uh, I don't think Missy Jen is going to be able to be that mobile. A lot of my travel will be on my own. I recognize that uh, going forward. But I uh, also want a place that we can go to in the wintertime. I don't feel like going away as far as Hawaii. You know, I'd like to be able to drive there, be able to go down to Key West, and be able to hit the beaches and do all that kind of stuff, and yet have Missy Jen in an environment that's safe and comfortable uh, with uh, people around and all that. So. All right, Jen. I think let's uh, try that temperature there on that. Yeah. So that's heated up for you. So we'll let Missy Jen go ahead and uh, try that. My blood pressure's always been on the low side, too. Yeah, Diane, I think my dad always had super low uh, blood pressure and stuff. So 120 or 80 is mine always. Mm. I just don't feel my limbs anymore. My legs, my arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got happy in the ordinary. <laughs> Honestly, God, Happy Meal is Happy Meal is like one of my biggest fans on YouTube by far. One of the uh, top ones. Okay, both of my parents have high blood pressure. That's interesting, Diane. You're younger than I am, so. Uh, my dad had low. So that's good, Jackie. Low blood pressure is a good thing until. Okay, you got bad knees. Until there's a time when you stand up and you can get uh, dizzy. Hey, Ram Supercharge, nice to see you. Ram Supercharge is an awesome person. Carlos Martinez. Hi, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos Martinez. The legend since 19. What is it? What does it say? Nine, Carlos, what is your uh, what is your about page say? A legend on YouTube since like 1998 or something like that. Jen, what do you think of the pizza there? Oh, it's delicious. Mm. It's got all these beautiful flavors of the, the, the spices. The touch of the garlic and everything and the hint of pepperoni. <laughs> the mozzarella cheese. And then the dough is really nice and soft. Oh, it's very delicious. Mm. And like I say, uh, a true authentic Italian pizza will never be dripping with uh, oil. It will not have a lake of oil on top of it. I don't like it when a pizza place, I rarely, I'd rather make my own pizza than have it delivered. Of course, it's a time thing. Nice to see you, Lori Green. Good morning to you, sweetie. Um, uh, uh, let's see, did you see that Mexican hanging fly? Not yet, Happy Meal. But uh, real authentic Italian pieces have no oil slicks on them and things like that. They're, they're made to be able to... Uh, uh, I don't know, Carlos. I don't know anything about that. I don't know. I'll be doing a video about the... Uh, Threats that Lacey Rocks has delivered to me now and anon. So I'll be doing a video about that in a little bit. Well, I got a notification. Rosie may we partook in a trial about gut bacteria through UCSF, and they are having a uh, God, I'm so bad with words. Remember words. There it is, Lori, Lori Green. Nice char on it. What did they say? They're going to have a... Um, they had some findings about that. and They, they uh, are having a presentation, online presentation. And they found some significance in... in a correlation between a certain gut bacteria and MS. So. Yeah, it's good. Hi, Lindsay. Nice to see you. 
That pizza, the pizza is really good. And anybody can make great pizza at home, trust me. It's not that difficult to do if you have the right to, if you have the right techniques. Good, enjoying that? Oh, it's excellent. Mm. I really doubt if we could get any better delivered in here. Mm. Carlos, this is almost like a, it's almost like a, a Chicago style. That's pretty thick. It's nice. It had a very lively dough that has a lot of uh, pockets in it. It's really not that thin. I don't like real thin crust of pizza. Yeah, see, Lori's like from New York. She's like, uh, you know, the best pizza in the world comes out of New York. So there's no doubt about that. The second best pizza in the world comes right out of this kitchen. That's here. right. But yeah, I'm going to have the uh, video up in a little bit about the Lacey and on. I'm going to uh, discuss what uh, what transpired last night in the chat. So we'll see. Would you like another piece, or are you? Want to yes, do? please. Okay. Yeah, I can't stand on one leg. My daddy always said, "Can't stand on one leg." So delicious, and that's not enough. We'll just throw it a minute, probably a minute's the best thing to put on that. Uh, okay, because I'm fat, thick crust, I like deep dish from uh, Giordano, extra sausage. Yeah, I didn't have a chance to, I forgot to get the, have Missy Jen pick up the sausage yesterday, and I just totally skipped it, but the pepperoni is good. Try more moringa. It's a wonder plant. I take it for my arthritis and remarks. Results are remarkably significant. Tess, would you do me a favor and just send a link to uh, Jen and Rosie Reality TV? I was on a chat with Lacey Rocks last night. Lacey Rocks delivered a very ominous, uh, ominous threat to me last night. So I'm starting to not like Tucker. He's <laughs> taking. <laughs> I love Carlos Martinez. I know he wants to uh, whack Elvis's head off, but he's funny as hell. Mm. Carlos is after the king of all things, dude. That's the one that Carlos Martinez. Two Chicago guys there. Let me help you. Now that's going to be really hot, so let's be careful. Okay? No oil, no goo. Uh, on Meninga. Stay tuned, Ram Supercharge. Stay tuned. Make sure you're tuned to Rosie O'Kelly channel. I'll be doing a uh, video in a few minutes when we wrap up here. No, uh, King of All Things 2 is uh, an Assyrian friend of his in uh, Chicago. Um, <laughs> Yeah, why did you get reborn instead of uh, zombified like me? Sausage, pepperoni, pepper. I've got uh, onion, pepperoni, and mozzarella in here. Got, nice combo. It's huh? got to do with the birthright. Some people have the birthright to be reborn on a stone. Kevin Chambers, good morning to you, my friend. We're just uh, trying a pizza here this morning. I hope you're doing well. One of my friends from uh, Texas, the great state of Texas, home of the Alamo. Okay, that's coming next. I'm going ascending next. I have to say, Carlos Martinez is funny as hell. Let's see. 
Thank you, Brenda. True Smoke New York Strip. Oh, man, Ram Supercharged. You didn't really know how to live. Carlos, this has uh, mozzarella. It has a really good sauce base, a very stiff sauce, I call it. And it has mozzarella, onion, sliced onion, rings, and it has uh, pepperonis on it. Yeah, I love. I've got so many, uh, so many friends from Texas down there. It's unbelievable. Kevin Chambers is one of my great uh, moonshining friends there. I think that's what brought him to the channel was the moonshine videos. And so, tomorrow, Missy Jen and I are going to try to get over to the uh, gun range. We're going to try to clean our guns and head over there. Uh, do a little shooting. It's time we got back over there. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. So uh, hopefully all of the Christmas shooters will be gone. There's a lot of people that get new uh, that get uh, that get uh, small arms for Christmas present and long arms, and they tend to flood. We only got one range for the whole freaking North Bay up here. And they tend to flood the rains the, the month after Christmas, and then they kind of disappear. The novelty wears off. They like to put uh, they like to put uh, three fifty seven magnums into their girlfriend's skinny Asian girlfriend's hands and watch them shoot and go backwards on their ass and uh, with recoil and stuff. And that that uh, that wears thin after a little bit. So yeah it kind of loses its punch after the first couple times you get knocked on your ass then suddenly your asian girlfriend skinny 90 pound asian girlfriend doesn't want to go shooting anymore out of the uh out of the rain so it tends to start to lighten up this time of year but a lot of people some people asked about my uh tooth you know this is the bottom of youtube where dental problems are legendary down here right missy jen yeah. I mean, just legendary. We have legends here of uh, people trying to pull their own teeth out on uh, yeah. <laughs> their own tooth extraction on hangouts. We got people that complain about that they've got uh, crowns, problem with the crowns and stuff like that. Well, long ago, the porcelain ceramic cover of my crown came off, and I would just have a metal cap on there well yesterday i was flossing you know you gotta floss if you want to keep your teeth and stuff and good dental hygiene and uh the damn cap popped off of the uh tooth you know i'm like what the hell luckily it didn't go down the sink drain right i mean i was able to pull it out and clean it out and dry it up a little bit and dry my tooth good so, you know, the dentist wants like 500 bucks to reattach that metal piece on there. And you know what I said to that? I said, I'm too on you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself to take a little bit of dental glue and do that. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. So what did I do? I did what any sane person does. I went into the shop and I got the Gorilla Glue. And I fired it into that cap. And I put that cap down. And that baby ain't gone anywhere now. $500, the $399 solution, Missy Jen. Learn to love it. This is this is dentistry at the finest at the bottom of YouTube. That cap ain't gone anywhere on there. You understand that, Kelly? I mean, we've got more do-it-yourself dentistry on the bottom of YouTube than you can shake a stick at. This is the home of fucked up teeth. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> this is it. Right. It's it's Carl's like I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I don't know if it's non-toxic or not. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, if you can read the fine print on that thing, you're a better person than I am. Yeah, these doctors and stuff are ripoffs, you know. If uh, if it's toxic, how long do you think the toxicity can actually last? Let's keep it. Right, I mean, right? you just have a lot of saliva <laughs> that just yeah, it just dissipates things dissipates over, time. over time. The important thing is to get that tooth covered fast and to get that cap back on. Yeah. That's Jackie, you know what I'm talking about, right? Moan popped off when I was eating a candy bar. Exactly. So, you know, you got to put those, uh, uh, you got to get those mofos back on as fast as possible because you have an exposed nerve and all that uh, down there or exposed, you know, you don't want any infection to get down there. So that's, uh, that was a $500 savings on here yesterday. So. <clears throat> that was a good deal. They will find themselves, you know, asking why. Yeah, well, it's just, it's too expensive for routine stuff. You know, if the dentist would say it's, you know, it's gonna, what's going to take them, uh, he'll clean up the area a little bit. And then uh, what's he going to do? He's going to get some adhesive and he's going to put it on there. And you can't tell me that adhesive is not toxic bullshit, you know. If it's going to grip and be on their dental cement, then it's going to uh, it's going to last, and that's for darn sure. Uh, I'm going to do something very special for you. Here's your guy. Are you no, but Gina, are you doing a foodie thing tonight? I'm going to get a cup of coffee here. We're going to go about 10 or 15 more minutes, and then I've got to do a video about uh, Lacey Rock and her nonsense, his nonsense that came down last night. And we're, we're going to talk about hangouts and some other things, too. You know, who, uh, what it's all about. We'll talk about the high and the high and righteous people on YouTube, you got to make sure to mention them. All right, because they're always watching. They're not commenting, but they're always watching. 2018 is a whole new ball game. Woo! Uh, Georgie is a bulldog, not a fox. That's right. Yeah, Jackie, it's all toxic. How are you gonna how are you gonna have dental cement that's not toxic? I mean, let's be real, right? That stuff's it's gotta have some type of polymer plastic bonding stuff, and that's all on a micro level. That shit's all getting into your bloodstream. <sighs> right. Uh, yeah, Happy Meal says I'm pretty sure Lacey Rocks could report this. Yeah. Well, she probably wants some, uh, probably a nice piece of pizza would be a good thing. Yeah, Lacey has no life. But Lacey's not above deal, dishing out some pretty wild threats and stuff. Uh, let's see. Car, glad you are, Rosie. Looking so thin, I worry. Well, I haven't eaten much in the last three weeks, so I've lost about 15 pounds. So, But I needed to, I wanted to lose that anyway. So now I'm eating... Uh, Eating more. I had a huge Jen. We had coming up this Friday night foodies, Friday night restaurant. We we had five guys last night. It was amazing. I had a gigantic uh, cheeseburger, bacon burger. We had like two pounds of fries that they delivered. And we still have a pound somewhere around here. And then I had two pieces of pizza on the hangout last night. So if anything, I got to watch my weight. So. Uh, yeah, that's how I died. I don't need a lot. You and Jen ever need a place to bug up? I got the place to be 60 acres with 20 acre pine. Can you imagine that? Ram Supercharged, you're an amazing person. It's a, it's a recent person. It's uh, come on the channel via Elvis, like a lot of people have. And, uh, you know, we try to give some sound advice to Elvis and stuff and not a hater, somebody I really appreciate and is a wonderful person. I gave up sugar and the pounds are dropping off. I don't think we really use a lot of sugar, do we here? We we no. make cakes and stuff, but we don't use sugar at all, baby. Yeah, really rarely. 
we don't do much with uh, we don't do much with sugar here, to be honest. I don't mean to be cutting in front of you, Jan. I'm just getting this done. Get this man a little bit of have another have a cup of coffee, and then we'll close out. We're going to be on the air at 5 p.m. Today, yeah, probably going to be a big night tonight again. So we'll see. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. It's me, just me. Says you have to read labels. You're exactly correct. But honestly, I don't eat a lot of processed food. I don't. I think Missy Jen likes to eat ready-made stuff that she can just pop in like the microwave and eat because uh, she can't stand on her feet a lot long enough to uh, yeah. to do that. I've got the steam of a steam of a meals. That are low calorie that have some vegetables in it, some green. Yeah, meat. so that's what she likes to do. A glass of orange mm. juice has so much sugar as you age, sugar is the enemy. Yeah, so we don't really do we have a, we have a, a Valencia orange tree. Okay, uh, Tess sent you a message on YouTube, Jen. So it's uh, that's great. Okay, check it okay, out. Okay, thank, thank you, Tess. You, Tess. We love Tess. You see, yeah, okay. I have uh, fibromyalgia. I understand my legs aren't good. Yeah, either. Yeah, I use. I guess I should. I use Splenda in the. Uh, in the interest of full disclosure, I've been using Splenda for years. Uh, here, that could be a problem one day. I just don't know. You know uh, who knows? I just don't uh, don't want to bomb my coffee with sugar, but yet I don't like uh, coffee. It's not sweet. Rosie, can you make uh, pasta or calamari, or can can you make a video? Uh, you know, Carlos. Um, most of my baking is like a dessert stuff, but you know. I think that uh, I'd like to see. Hi, Anna. Nice to Hi, see Anna. you, sweetie. I'd like to see um, Tess cooks for you. I'd love to see her make some homemade pasta, like some elbow macaroni or some spaghetti egg noodle pasta. Um, I've made egg noodle pasta. I had one of those machines that rolls out the dough and and cuts it into like linguine strips and things like that. Uh, thank you, it's me, just me. Thank you, honey. The baking videos, yeah. I've been baking for a lot of years. So I'd say most of the baking is pretty top flight that comes out of the kitchen uh, here on just a home job. Everything that the Rosigal bakes is off the hook awesome. Now I will say, when I did move here, Okay, yeah, Carlos, make a video of uh, doing the doing the pasta, calamari pasta with the red sauce. When I did move here, this is a this is a Fisher Paykel. This is a top of the line five burner stove. It has the wok burner in the middle here, but it has a convection oven in it, and it specifically got that because I like to do a lot of baking, and I like the. Uh, I like the evenness of the way that the heat gets distributed in the oven. The convection oven is great for that. Yeah, it is an art form baking because especially uh, especially desserts, you know, they have to, they have to look beautiful. They all food should look good. Yeah, we got the, the great Anna Alexis is in the house this morning. The pride of Asheville, North Carolina, baby, a Southern bill. I think an oven helps, the technique is good. A lot of people don't know how to make pie dough anymore, so it's a very challenging thing to make a pie uh, to get that to be working with it. Well, I've had my pizza already, but I'm just having my final cup of coffee. I'm going to be uploading a video about, uh, you know, what Anon slash Lacey Rocks told me last night, the next, uh, next threat coming in. 
to me. So we'll see. Uh, oh, thank you. It's me. I'm not so much of a great cook. I just enjoy cooking, but I love baking. Is really my uh, baking is really my passion. Uh, I've seen it on Food Network. Try a pizza dessert. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't really. Yeah, Brenda. Yeah. Yep. Delivered to me on the chat stream last night. Yeah. I guess this person is getting uh, really antsy that I know who Lacey Rocks and I <laughs> is that are starting to get a little, uh, trying to be a little bombastic about it. So one thing I don't do is I don't tolerate uh, threats, especially since I got Missy Jen to take care of. So that's for sure. So we got a few things to do. I'm going to be putting up the. Uh, we had a great. We had a great dinner last night on Friday night restaurant reviews. See, your desserts make me hungry, and I have to give up sugar. I check once a week and eat whatever. Now <laughs> there we go. That's it. That's it. That's the spirit. It's me. Okay, <laughs> get something good once a week. You gotta, you gotta feed the soul a little bit too. You gotta feed the soul. Me, I just like when I quit smoking. A pack and a half a day habit in 1995. I just crumpled up the packet when I landed in Honolulu and just threw it in the trash can. I never had another smoke. November 1st, 1995. I've been blessed with real good willpower. Oh, you like the dollar store food review. Missy Jen fears dollar store roulette. We had those vegetable yeah, samosas. Me. Yesterday was not bad. Uh, but the samosas? Uh, then, yeah, the samosas, they were... That curry stunk up the house for till we made the pizza last night. They were giving me the cough and uh, whatnot, everything like. It was just like cardboard filled with paste and uh, a uh, curry paste. <laughs> Brenda's like, I saw the samosas, and I'm like, no, don't do it. We call it Dollar Tree Russian Russian roulette <laughs> with food. You, food. Feed that, you feed that to the prison. I mean, we had that. We ate that bar S salami. We beat man. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> that stuff was like, you feed that to the dogs at the cars outside. <laughs> You know, see, the problem was I spent five years in China, lived in China for five years, so I became like the Chinese. I can I can eat everything on the table except the legs, as the old saying goes in China. So there's nothing that I don't I won't try. Yeah, the uh, yeah the salami was hilarious. I'll tell you what, that samosas though, wow. I eat bar. Yeah, bar ass hot dogs are okay, but you know, Kelly, Kelly, when you're getting down to the salami, honey, you're getting down to the really deep end of the pool. Uh, you know, after they're finished making the, uh, after they're finished making the hot dogs, they take the pig snouts and feed and all the bone and all that other shit. In the, the final thing goes in the salami. Snouts. Everyone must know who Anon is. They were outed on Tribes chat over a week ago. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, well, I, I would debate that spirit of salt, but I love you, honey. Thanks for coming by. I want to try the corn on the cob in the bag that they sell at the dollar store. Yeah, we got, uh, when I bit the salami, I actually got bone chips in the slices. Okay, take care. Much love to you, Tess. Keep those vids coming, mm -hmm. honey. There's a there's Have a, a great day, Tess. There's a great Love there's you. a great cook. Tess cooks for you. And very high production values. No trolls. Look who's there. Lacey Rock. <laughs> oh man. There's too many Lacey Rocks now. 
Uh, Spirit, I've heard there's a different people. Yeah, it might not be there. Yeah, I know I probably should, and uh, but the person that I would call out is already kind of in panic mode anyway. So right. let's see. Spirit says the dollar store food scares me on your behalf. That's funny. Well, what are you gonna do, Spirit? You gotta try it out. Hey, Josh. Good Hi, morning Josh. to you, my friend. Big hearts for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just happy meal. <laughs> happy <laughs> meal. I always remember your big ears. Yeah. Yeah. Susie says a non has spirit. Like I say, uh, you know, same here, spirit. I'm just saying that. Uh, the person who's Lacey and non, you know, I enjoy, but I'm not going to, you know, if they cross the, uh, if they cross the line, then it's a totally different story. On here. And uh, Lacey rocks, and this is not the real, this is not yeah, the usual Lacey right, rocks. Right. This is a, uh, this is a. Troll of a troll account, but uh, I can't even type real English. Said said some really uh, said some really nasty stuff last night. So. You also have the English, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the heck happens here. <clears throat> We'll see, but anyway, the pizza pizza turned out good. That's just the coffee turning off. That is the bullshit meter alarm. Uh, <laughs> what would Lacey and Anon name their children? Rocks? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, Maxine, nice Hi, to see Maxine. you. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Well, when they start ramping up the threats, it becomes a different story. So. <sighs> anyway, we will be on at 5 yep. p.m. We do have the uh, video coming up with the uh, five, guy, five Guys Hamburgers last night, which was amazing. It wasn't cheap, mm -hmm. but it was honestly some of the best uh, hamburger beef I've ever had in my life uh, over there. And, uh, yep. Yeah, 8 p.m. on the uh, 8 p.m. on the East Coast, 5 p.m. on the uh, West Coast. If you come to the chat, have some backbone, right? And, uh, Bring this, your boxing gloves. This chat's developed for uh, people that can stand up for themselves and take care of their own selves. And like I've always done all my life. And just remember, as I'll be reiterating on the video today, I've never, to my knowledge, I've never flamed anybody on YouTube. I've never insulted anybody on the hangout. And I've never taken it to anybody personally ever on a hangout so and that's the bottom line on that so with that we're going to go ahead and close this down you all have a wonderful day today love you guys and uh thanks so much for being along from the missy and myself we'll see you at 5 p.m today <laughs>